And uh, I want to welcome Minister McConnell here this evening and thank him as the Senior Minister to come here to discuss an issue I know that is quite passionate and there will be some different views. But as always in this House, I know that will be respectful from every side and that, uh, you know, we'll hopefully reach a, a consensus at the end of the day. I think most people would agree that the horse and grey greyhound racing industries have a special place in Irish life and indeed a fundamental position in Irish sport. They are crucial to our economy, intrinsic to our identity and landmarks in of our social and cultural heritage. There is an undeniable passion and enthusiasm for those sports all across the country. It has been a long-standing policy of successive governments to enable, uh, ensure these industries to realise their maximum potential and in doing so play a part in the economic and social development across our nation. And I would remind this chamber that included Fianna Fáil governments, Fine Gael Labour governments, Fine Gael Labour um, workers' parties government, Fine Gael, Fianna Fáil PDs, uh, and now the present government, Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael and the Greens. So right along uh, the reign of governments in this country, there has been support for the industry. Given the wide geographical dispersal of those two industries, they're important to the achievement of more balanced regional growth. And in this context, the considerable contribution of those industries make our rural economic activity and employment uh, have to be acknowledged. Now, if you look at the racing scene, my own county, Roscommon, Sligo, Ballinrobe and Mayo, Kilbegnan and Westmeath, Limerick, Navan and Mead, Wexford, Tipperary, Thurles, all around this country, there is a number of race meetings each year. And I'm not mentioning the Dublin venues in that. The Corrin Kildare is another one. And one must remember that the volume of economic activity created by those events is very important to our economy. And if you were to calculate between the, the horse industry, the greyhound industry, and linked jobs to that industry, we are talking about uh, 30,000 jobs plus. 30,000 jobs plus if you take everything into account. And I've done my own calculations on this. Now, again, with the greyhound situation, and listen, I understand the passion of some people in relation to animal welfare, and I think we all accept, in some areas, animal welfare was an issue. I think we all accept that around this chamber. But again, in relation to the greyhound business, we have 14 stadiums around the country. The likes of the Mullingars, the Galways, I think the Lamford one is gone now. Again, you have them in Tipperary Cork, you have them right around the country, you have them here in Dublin. Again, the fact that you have a number of those meetings throughout the year generates a lot of economic activity in those particular areas and also has a considerable amount of jobs. I think it is important that we look uh, at COVID and what COVID, as the Minister has said, has done to this, the, the business. And like every other part of Irish society, there will be an, in, uh, 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 an impact, significant impact, I should say, in relation to COVID. And it is important that when we talk about the increased funding in this area, that we must realise that there has been a huge dent in the amount of money created in that business. Before I conclude, I do want to address the issue of animal welfare. And I acknowledge what the Minister has said here, that in terms of all monies granted to those boards, animal welfare has to be a serious consideration. Now, when we look at animal welfare in recent times, uh, we have to take into account there has been a lot of progress. A lot of things have happened, and I'll give you a few of them. So, if we look at the Greyhound Racing Act 2019, uh, we have a traceability model to enable tracing of racing greyhounds throughout their lives. The board tendered for the establishment of a traceability system for racing greyhounds in early 2020, and it is expected that the traceability system will be delivered to RCE which is Rossi of Con Erin, um, probably very, very shortly. Incentivising and rehoming of greyhounds in Ireland through additional supports through the Irish Retired Greyhound Trust is established and operated by RCE. The establishment of a separate greyhound care fund and the opening of care centres for retired greyhounds while they are waiting rehoming. The welfare of greyhounds remains a priority for RCE and was a key consideration uh, during the suspension of 
racing activity. Between the 24th of March and the 8th of June 2020, RSE implemented a COVID-19 Greyhound care payment scheme of two euro per day in respect of each active greyhound. The Department of Agriculture has received assurances that the board remains committed to the protection of this integrity of the greyhound industry and to promoting the welfare of greyhounds. The department is also assured that all necessary resources are being committed to those ends. Greyhound Racing Ireland has been implementing an ambitious care and welfare programme with the following elements being progressed. The setting up of a care fund in 2019, Notwithstanding the collapse in commercial rev revenues arising from the impact of COVID-19 and resulting impact on care fund income, Greyhound Racing is committed to increasing the spend on care and welfare as part of its overall programme. And there are many other issues I could mention. But can I say in conclusion, people of Ireland think love their animals. People of rural Ireland, and I was brought up on a farm where I you know, was brought up with a love of animals, a love of cattle, a love of sheep, a love of your dog, a love of your horse, when we'd have a horse on the land. All small farmers from humble backgrounds, and I think the Irish people are the same today. So I am totally in favour of the welfare of animals and improving that all along, but we must be resolute in supporting both the horse and greyhound industry. There are a lot of jobs at stake here, but I do admit that we have to also be very, very serious about the welfare issue. Gormagoth. Issue.